So, you have a lost episode creepypasta for me? Yes sir, I do. So this is based off the animated series Veggie Tales. What the hell is Veggie Tales? It's this show, where this tomato named Bob and this cucumber named Larry force religion down the audience's throats. Oh, forcing religion down people's throats is tight. So what do you have in mind for this creepypasta? So it's gonna be a lost version of the first episode of the show. Sounds scary. Well, it's not, it's actually kind of depressing. Huh. Anyways, there's this guy who loves baggy tails, but says he grew old of the show. Despite the fact he still owns the VHS tapes and the DVDs of the show. What's the guy's name? I don't know. Fair enough. So he's gonna look for the original version of Where's God, When I'm Scared, on Amazon. Why couldn't he just get a more recent version of the episode? I'm sure there's multiple different versions of the episode. So the story could happen. Oh, okay, gotcha. But it's gonna be hard to think of an excuse for the main character to watch the tape without anyone thinking he's weird, right? Actually, it's gonna be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, so his aunt and uncle leave for a trip and his sister was gone to her friend's house, meaning the main character was alone and he got to watch the tape for himself. A very convenient turn of events. Yeah, so after nine minutes of waiting, the episode starts out normal at first, and then the tape, you know, shows three more minutes of a black screen. I'm guessing the main character's impatient, because he just can't wait to watch the episode. Man, he's pretty cool with it. Oh, okay. So then the blackout meant that the tape was switching to the creepy version of the episode. Why didn't it just show the creepy episode after the original blackout? Because this way, there's more suspense. No, like, actually, though. To make the story longer. Gotcha. So the VHS shows the intro again and then cuts to the countertop where everything seems normal at first but it feels kind of depressing. Why? Because. Fair enough. So Bob reads a letter out loud and it's about a woman named Michelle, whose husband fell asleep while driving and her son was killed in a devastating accident. Oh, my god. Yep. I'm edgy, right? Just, what does this letter have to do with the message of overcoming fear? I don't know. And also, what does it have to do with the overall story? Look, this is supposed to be a big thing, so I need you to get all the way off my back with this. Yeah, yikes, I don't like being on top of that thing. So then it cuts to the story of the episode, where Junior Asparagus is sitting down and watching TV. What the hell is his deal? He's drawn into this Frank and Celery TV show and he's staying up past his bedtime. So then his mom comes in and tells him it's time for him to go to bed. I'm assuming he's gonna be hesitant about it. Man, he resists at first, but then turns off the TV anyway, and goes to his room. He didn't seem very interested in his TV show then. I guess not. So he's actually pretty scared of the TV show and he has nightmares about it. We then get a dream sequence in his mind and the Frank and Celery guy thing verbally abuses Junior with blaringly loud volume. So what happens next? Well, Junior is super traumatized. Bob and Larry and the other asparagus family members are checking on him. Do they take him to the hospital? Eventually. Oh. So then it cuts to the hospital and Junior, you know, dies. So then what happens? Junior's mom then consumes a bunch of pills and kills herself. Oh, my god. I know. So then it cuts to Bob and Larry in the countertop and Bob smashes himself into QWERTY the computer, because QWERTY isn't working, and then he turns into tomato chunks. Oh my god, dude, just, stop. So then Larry jumps off the countertop, because Bob died and he turns into cucumber slices. Please stop. You're giving me weird thoughts. That's the point. So then the person watching the tape is traumatized and writes an email to Big Idea, the company that makes baggy tales, about what he saw. What happens then? Well, 
Big Idea responds to him by saying they didn't make the episode, and the main character throws away all his Baggy Tales merchandise. Why? Well, he's scared of Baggy Tales now. Well, I mean, it's kind of unhealthy to act like that. Basically, think of Sid in Toy Story, after he saw Woody talking. Oh, okay, gotcha. So he tells everyone about the episode, and big shock, nobody believes him. He then goes to the Grand Canyon and, you know, jumps off of it. Over a lost episode of Veggie Tales? Over a lost episode of Veggie Tales. So what do you think? I think you should see a psychiatrist. Ah, uh, I love hearing that. That means I'm scary. I just hope nobody decides to duplicate your formula with this one. Well, don't worry, I'm sure nobody would ever want to rip this story off.